John McEnroe serving play. Those of you that watch the Bears beat Tampa Bay, welcome to the finals, the men's finals. You haven't missed a thing yet. And those of you who watch New England beat Green Bay, welcome to the National Tennis Center. And you're looking at the first point of the men's finals. We had a rainstorm earlier, and the reason for the delay was the court was wet. Delay in getting started. Fifteen long. Certainly stepped into that second serve, didn't he? McEnroe is 26 years old, Lindell 25. John has been in 11 Grand Slam finals. Lindell's been in eight. Lindell 6-2, McEnroe 5-11. Of course, John has won here four times and Wimbledon three. Yvonne has only won once. That was in the French Championships last year when he beat McEnroe, who had a two set to love lead. Grand Slam meetings, the series is tied at three apiece. 30. 30. What we're, love. Excuse me. what we're looking at here is where Lendl's going to actually hit the ball on the return. See if he moves it. 40 love. Missing those returns in the first game, but he has to keep trying that, I believe, and uh, and take those chances. As we get into the game, he's, his reaction's all quick enough. Love game for McEnroe. He wins the first game of the first set. Oh. Temperature 81 degrees. Humidity 65 percent. Evening showers in the forecast. Wind northwest five miles an hour. Temperature on court. Much more livable than it was yesterday or the day before when it was up over 110. It is humid, but the, that rainstorm that came through sure, certainly cooled things down. You can expect to see a lot of that. If Lendl does not get his first serve in, McEnroe will be coming most of the time. Lendl takes a lot of time. First six points to McEnroe. Fifteen thirty. So much for that. This shot from the Goodyear blimp. Thunderstorms in the area. But right now, sunshine on the court. Double break point. Yoko Ono. She's out here every year. Son obviously loved the tennis. What? First serve. Double break point. I wonder if Lendl might try to serve volley on this second serve. It would surprise me. Game McEnroe. You never know. Right. McEnroe gets a break. That's the pressure of knowing that McEnroe is going to chip McEnroe it or hit it. He's run to the net behind it. He tried to overserve it. At, at Wimbledon, uh, what Lendl did not serve well, and he kept trying to serve harder and harder. And, you know, the logic for us normally would be take Quiet, a little speed please, off, add a little spin, start getting some in and build your confidence back up, and then start adding more, more pace. 
If he serves badly, he's going to be in huge trouble. I know Roachie said to him, you're getting a lot of your second serves into the net, why don't you give it a little bit more height and a bit more spin? And he said, well, I'll, I'll hit it harder and that'll get it going. <laughs> Roachie didn't know what to say after that. That's there is no answer. Well, he also served over 20 doubles, as I recall, in that particular match. The one with LeConte, mm -hmm. where he lost in four sets. playing in white today. He's been playing in Battleship Gray throughout the tournament. Ah! More like Thunderstorm Gray. Speaking of thunderstorms. Leon Lip, our umpire. I believe a word you used earlier, Nuke, was uh, flexible. And that, that's something that uh, Yvonne is not very good at. He gets set in his mind during a match. He's going to do it a certain way, and that's it. How about this? Those of you who watched Minnesota upset the Super Bowl champions, San Francisco 49ers 28-21. Welcome to the men's finals at the U.S. Open, 1985. It's McEnroe, three games to love over Yvonne Lindell this week. First set. The Miami Dolphins, 49ers opponents in last year's Super Bowl, also lost today. Houston, 26-23 over the Dolphins. Two big upsets. There's another Feltz upset. You're right. <laughs> Looked like it was just out to I me. I thought it was out. I think it gave uh, Yvonne a bit of a scare. Normally when you have a ball, a really good play on a ball, you don't let it go. I think it's going to be very close. Uh, if, if it's going to be way out, obviously you just let her fly. natural inclination for Lendl on this type of point would have been to hit the forehand, wait till the next one comes back and drive it again into the next corner. In this match he's decided to come to the net behind those drives and rely on his volley. Getting off to a bad start like this, Tony, it'll be interesting to see if Lendl will keep up with that aggressive game plan or revert back to what comes naturally. Find Tony Roach sitting in the stands and get a signal for the curveball, you know, some change up or something. <laughs> Game 
Wendell. McEnroe leads 3-1. McEnroe has been serving much better than he did yesterday against Philander. He hadn't lost a point on his serve yet. One Mac and Roll. First ace by Lindell. He took a little something off of that. That still goes pretty fast. Sure does. So if you do that and get a much higher percentage, then you're certainly going to be more effective. We'll see a fair number of double faults out of Lendl today because of the pressure McEnroe puts on your second serve. Watch McEnroe moving in now. Inside the ball. Oh. That's an awful pressure to have to face, isn't it? And then you start thinking, well, gee, I better get my first serve in. The other thing is, too, that, that when a fellow like Lendl takes a pretty big swing at a pretty long backswing, and when you rush like that, you don't have time to make that good, that long swing and be accurate and consistent with it. That would be a good tactic, Tony, uh, to serve and volley maybe a third of the time. It's not a or half, and just mix it up some. Yeah, just keep him guessing a bit. I think a serve and volley on the second serve every now and then will keep him guessing too. Uh. Got to do something. You can't just let the opponent chip and charge you all day. And Macro's not chipping either. He's drilling no, it and coming right. in. That is a heck of a return, you, you know, when you're moving forward like that and to be able to generate that amount of power. McEnroe, seven and three Grand Slam finals. Lindell, one and six. Won the French. Read that perfectly then. US Open finals. McEnroe's won four and lost none. Yvonne is this is his fourth US Open final. He has not won one yet. Oh. Oh. 
Gene Lindahl. 4-2 McEnroe. In the first. McEnroe leads 4-2. See Macro call for an extra ball. He looks and he wants to get the ones that are the fastest. I mean the nap is not puffed up on as much, so they can serve it better. Nine U.S. Opens for John McEnroe. Fifty and four, his record. Didn't Jimmy Connors uh, break the record during this tournament? He vexatious had won 75 matches. Right. right. Jimmy has 77 now. That's the record among the men. Uh, Yvonne's parents. Both tennis players. A shot like uh, McEnroe just hit there, he took very little backswing. And do you think he gets a lot of power, Tony, with that loose restring? He's got it strung, a mid-sized racket strung at about 45 pounds, which I is incredibly loose. No question, he gets the slingshot or trampoline effect. Ball sort of sinks in and is thrown out. That's why he doesn't have to take as big a swing. It amazes me how he can control the ball as well as he does. Yvonne started to argue and then quickly changed his mind. 40 love. Five straight years McEnroe's been seated number one. Well, Lendl still hasn't won a point, but he's played two good points in that game, in this game so far. That backhand return, would, although it missed, would have given him a lot of confidence. That would have too. Yeah. <laughs> and the passing shot he tried earlier in the game that hit the top of the net and just bounced out, was well hit also. Game okay, McEnroe. That makes it 5 2 McEnroe in the first set. First serve. I was a little ambitious on McEnroe's part. Fifteen all. See both feet off the ground here. Doesn't make a deep return. It's inside the service line. Grandmother could pass you from there. Fifteen thirty. That's a tough play. I tell you. Just drop the ball a little short in the baseline rally, it's a winner. Very confident shot to be able to bring that down the line. And here's the real challenge now, the kind of a second serve does Lendl go after. You see McEnroe probably trying to come in behind the return. 30 all. He had it in mind. Put a little bit extra spin on that one, Lendl. It jumped up, kicked up at McEnroe's racket. A little quicker than he thought.
Well, we've been doing a lot of talking about McEnroe and how well he's playing. He he's, uh, only has one service break. Lendl holds here. It'll be Macro serving at 5-3, so it hasn't been a blowout by any means. Those of you who watched the Cardinals beat the Browns in overtime 27-24, welcome to the finals of the U.S. Open of 1985, Yvonne Lindell against John McEnroe. The actions in the first set, Lindell serving at to the slice approach shot that time. Good variation. It's when you see the racket head come under the ball. Good slice on it. Makes the ball bounce very low. It's difficult to play passing shots off that. See how good McEnroe's approach shots have been up till now, because if he drops them at all short, yeah. Lindell will pass him. It's a it's a bit of a kamikaze raid. There's the Davis Cup captain Arthur Ashe. It's it's a situation where you're on the move, you're coming in, and you're gonna come in whether you make a good shot or a bad shot, and you just hope that you make something pretty good. Lindell. Key here is how deep this ball goes and how far back McEnroe is behind the baseline. It's pretty tough to pass anyone when you're 8, 10, 12 feet behind the baseline. It's because of a good deep shot by that gentleman. Game, Lindell. He had him dead. He had the right idea, didn't he? Sure did. Well, he had other options, too. McEnroe leads 5-3. 5-3. McEnroe leads. We look down at the Throgsneck Bridge. Over the Long Island Sound. 15 seconds. Both players going to the towel and Macro to serve for the first set. Incredibly, he has not lost a point on serve yet. And this is his fifth service game. that streak. Low 15. Nothing lasts forever. I bet you do.
Love 30. First real test for McEnroe here, and the point you made a while ago, Tony, if he were to lose his serve here, it would be not good for him because he's dominated this set so far. Well, it seems like it, but he's, like, again, he only has the one service break. He has been awesome on his own serve. Excellent return from Lendl then, and he's, he's adopted a, a, a stance just a, about a foot further back than what he was pr in the first few games. And that seems to be working for him. He's not quite on the baseline by the time he hits the ball. Ah! First few service games, he was on the baseline or inside the baseline trying to hit it. And really didn't get many on back in play. Lendl. Lendl gets his break. McEnroe leads 5-4, first set. Yvonne Lindell has just come off a service break and will be serving to get even. First four times McEnroe Five, served, he didn't lose a point, and then he was broken at love. So back on serve in this first set. normally tosses the ball a little bit higher than you need to toss it. So he's sitting as it's coming down. Up! Thirty love. Appears he may not be tossing it quite as high as he normally does, but it's still higher, I think, Newt, than, than you really need. It's dropping a foot and a half or right. so before he actually hits it. When McEnroe serves in the next game, we'll have a look at his toss, see where he hits it. been a funny first set, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good control here off the half volley. 40. This part's easy. Macro can't get back in time. He just wisely makes a short back swing and punches it into the open court. It's a little smoother stroke that time by Lendl, not as flailing and wild as he was early in the, in the set. The rocket Rod Laver, the only man in the history of this game to win the Grand Slam twice. Don Budge, the first one to do it. That, of course, you have to win the Australian, the French, Wimbledon, and the U.S. Supposed used to be done to be, the same year. Used to be in the same year. Right. They sort of revised that a little bit. Game, Lindell. Five all. Now you see a dog fight because Lendl settled down. Five all. He's into it now. And the crowd's starting to get into it too. 
that, that may be one of the strangest first sets I've seen so far. What was it, 12 of the first 13 points were won by McEnroe? He won his first four service games to love. How about the women's final yesterday, the first set? That went up and down, didn't it? Five love, five five. Look at the toss here from McEnroe, Nuke. Yeah, let's see where he actually makes contact with it. Big rotation, isn't it? Yeah. See, it's barely just dropping. Just started, mm -hmm. just started to drop. There is no advantage to tossing it higher than you can reach fully extended. I find a lot of club players have a hitch in their serve because their ball toss is too high. They they have to hold their racket behind their head while they wait for the ball to come down. Now, I think it's a lot of the reason they, they drag that back foot up and then have to sort of wait until the ball comes within reach. What? First serve. Good shot. Great touch. 40 long. Looks so easy to do some of the shots he plays. <laughs> All the good ones make it look easy. Back at the U.S. Open after this word from your local station. Uh, lucky break for Lendl. 15 long. When you're serving to save the first set, this is, nothing better could happen here. McEnroe was sort of on it. He was looking for the down the line backhand passing shot. A lot of people think that that's the one Lendl prefers to hit. Scored him three or four times on their second court by serving the second serve a little harder and nice and deep and into the body on the forehand side. That's 0 for 3 in this game so far on first serves. Point away from a tiebreaker. McEnroe serving first. Of course, in the tiebreakers, the first player to reach seven points with at least a two-point advantage. The McEnroe entourage. McEnroe has won seven of 11. He'll serve one point. He won a crucial one in the fifth set against Shlomo Glickstein in the first round. He wouldn't be here. <laughs> That's right.
Tony Roach in the bottom left of your picture and Tatum O'Neill behind him. 1-0, Lendl. Tony Roach, former Australian Davis Cup, and now coaching Yvonne Lendl. Yeah, McEnroe covered a little territory on that point. He really did. I, I was looking for Lendl to come in about halfway through. He hit a really good forehand. I thought he might follow it in. But he won the point anyway. Now he'll serve two points. 11 and 4 in tiebreakers. He took a long time to serve that two ball too, didn't <laughs> he's, he's very slow, very deliberate. Bounces the ball four times. And then he'll be ready to go. <laughs> Gets the sawdust <laughs> out. A little routine. Strings. made a good half volley that time. He didn't hit it hard, but he got it deep. 3-0, Lendl. McEnroe hitting off the back foot. This would be a real bonus for Lendl if he could win this set. Sure didn't look like it about half an hour ago. Sure didn't. Like he was going to be blown away. Long set. They've almost been playing for an hour. Got a late start because the court was wet. Duty topspin on that forehand made it dip real quickly. He's looping swing. Watch the reaction. Yes, sir, he says. 4 1 Lendl. Yvonne's parents. That'd be tough sitting out there watching your, boy, would it, one of your kids playing in a major championship. My dad got a little gray prematurely. Change ends after six points. 5-1, Lindell. Lindell leads at 5-1. I don't know that there's anyone playing that hits the forehand any harder than, than Yvonne does. There's another look. He steps around. This is what he likes to do best. Overpowered McEnroe. We'll see what his reaction is. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the other side and get at it. <laughs> Volley that was. Quite a comeback by Ivan Lindel when he wins the first set. No, he's a, I beg your pardon. He's got five. Six, six, one, six one. He's five, got five set, set, set points. Yeah. It was an excellent first serve, too. Again, not hit as hard as he can hit it, but with plenty of speed on it, backed it up perfectly. Set to Yvonne Lindell. He wins at 7 6. 
So Lendl has won the first set. Fifteen long. Hour and one minute for that first set. Game of the second set. Lendl wins the first game of the second set. McEnroe to serve. Well, Ryan Lendl's on a roll. Well, I think he's done two things. He's made two changes. One is he's standing back a little farther, as we mentioned earlier. And he's also not taking the same big wild swing, a more controlled swing at it, using the speed that's coming from McEnroe's serve and trying to get good direction on it. It's a pretty good swipe at that one. 15. Oh, very confident right now. He had won nine straight points. But he missed that one. You think Lindell's got a good backhand lob, Tony? I, I don't think it's that, that accurate. I never thought of it that way, really. But uh, he's certainly a well-rounded and a complete player. Here's a lob that worked this time. All. Drove McEnroe away from the net. And in comes Yvonne. There was a good deep volley. Coach Roach. That's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> a very famous coach Roach in Los Angeles used to work with Jack Kramer a lot of people out there who are no longer with us but he was a good one the effect on McEnroe, Tony, ha having lost that first set when he too must have thought it 5-3 when he hadn't lost a point on serve. Well, I've got the first set, set in the bag and all of a sudden here he is a set down. Doesn't help your attitude much, I'll tell yeah. you that. But uh, you really have to regroup. Sure, but he, they're both fighters, concentrate well. <laughs> Break point for Landau. There's another look, Nuke. Advantage, Lindell. Yeah, well, he didn't have much room to work in here because McEnroe got back very quickly. Yvonne hit it a little higher than he intended to, but it worked out well for him. 
break point. Companion of Yvonne Lindell. That last volley that McEnroe made, he, he didn't hit it short on purpose, I don't think, but it worked out better for him than had he got a little deeper, Lindell might have gotten his racket on it. Yeah, yeah I don't think I'd like to say he was... That looks nice, doesn't it? A little water skiing on the sound. I don't think I'd like to say that McEnroe was nervous on that volley, but it wasn't with the authority authority that he sometimes has. Another break point for Lindell. We talked about Advantage Lindell. Lindell's preference going down the line with a backhand. That was obviously cross court and just hit about as hard as you can hit it. Serve and volley here? I doubt it. Big choice. Hey, Lindell. Get out. Lindell gets a break. Leads two love in the second set. Lindell leads two love. McEnroe's not getting a good percentage of first serves in, and he's paying the price. his reaction both feet off the ground give the rack a little bounce so 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 with a break so someone do that once it came up and whacked them right in the chin Complexion has changed considerably. Boy, it's a look at the winners. John McEnroe Sr. Patrick McEnroe on the left of your screen. Obviously concerned at this stage.
30-15. Double fault. It's just Glendale's second. 30-15. Second serve. Punishing. Going, going again to the body on the forehand side. That was so deep with a lot of pace on it. If you keep serving like that, it'll make Macron have to change his tactic of trying to come in right off the return. Make him start the rally. There's a cloud hanging over John McEnroe right now as he's serving at love three in the second set to Yvonne Lendl. Lendl's won the first seven six, a tiebreaker, seven points to one. 15 miles. When was the last time I know that Connors or McEnroe has won the U.S. Open men's final every year since they moved to this place? Well, I'll ask you in a minute. When was the last time two non-Americans won the U.S. Open? And played in the final? Right. One. You mean for men and women? Men and women, yes. 30. I don't know. Nuke, do you know? I know the last time I won in 73, Margaret Court won. Well, that's not Americans. <laughs> was it 73? Is that the know. last one, though? That's the last time. <laughs> also, uh, it's the last time a right hand, a right hander won. Here we are, our own John. Lucky I, Two lucky I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think for a while, long time ago. Mark went to the court court of the line. It's the only mark there. Even though I hit an ace, it has to be second serve. She's sure of a decision. Is there any time where they're not sure of the decision? Has there been one occasion throughout the sermon they're not sure? They're 100% sure every time? Even if it's on the line, they're 100% sure. Is that what they tell them? That they're 100%? This is where the umpire, Leon Lip, has to get him going, give him the 30-second warning. It's been uh, about 55 seconds so far. What are you talking about, 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah. 15 seconds.
One time when we were on a Davis Cup mission, I asked John, I said, when you argue like that, does it ever occur to you that you might be wrong? He said, no. But he was honest. Yeah. Okay, McEnroe. Second ace by McEnroe, that makes it 3 1. Lindell. Lindell leads 3 1. few errors flowing from McEnroe's forehand side, Tony. Yeah, his uh, his effort at taking the second serve and come in behind it has not worked lately. It's started out very well. It's fallen off drastically, and part of that is because Lendl has served so well. Oh. 30. The forehand seems to be flying. Uh, most of the mistakes he's uh, hitting over the baseline. 30 loves. Be a long way back for McEnroe if he gets down two sets to love. It mm -hmm. must have taken a little bit out of him yesterday. He was behind all the way against Volanda. Two sets to one and a breakdown on the fourth and the fifth. 40 loves. He's being overpowered at the moment. I thought it was an ace. It's really he's asking the umpire to overrule on a ball that's so close. They're not supposed to rule on something that's that close. Was it far enough on the line? Also, Lindell's waiting for a second serve. He ought to get two serves. McEnroe has given him the point. As I understand it, that's what it looks like. One four. We're in the second set. Lindell won the first in the tiebreaker. Got the ball on a string at the moment. There's Tony Roach, my old doubles partner, who's this year taken up the position of acting as Ivan's coach. Doing a good job. That's not hand signals. Roach is not into hand signals. <laughs> 15 off. Three aces by McEnroe. This is telecast is going back to Australia. If people in Australia are thinking that Tony looks very thin, he is. Lendl's got six German shepherds in the house. And they eat all the food? Oh, uh, Roach, he's scared <laughs> to go to the dining room. <laughs> I think he just locks himself in his room. <laughs> One area of uh, 
Lendl's game that they've tried to work on is the volley. As I mentioned before, I think they should be pretty happy with that today so far. He's also been on a physical fitness campaign. Lost some weight. And he feels quicker and stronger. And McEnroe's first serve has deserted him, so he's given Lendl a lot of swings at the second serve, and Yvonne's taken advantage of it. Double break point for Lendl would give him two breaks and a 5-1 lead. He's only, McEnroe's only getting around 50%, isn't he, Tony, of first serves into play? At best. Yesterday, he averaged 52% against Verlander. 56 today. Before this game. 30 40. He's not winning 50% of his attempts at the net either, and that's unusual for him. He usually is higher than that, but Lendl's been passing so well that he's below 50% when he goes in. but I would question Yvonne's effort there of hitting that overhead like that. Was it going in? I'm not so it was, sure. It was pretty far back, wasn't he, in the court when he hit it? So two break points saved by McEnroe. Could have pretty well salted away the second set for Leno if he'd have been able to get one of those. job for McEnroe here is to just try and hang in there at this stage and hope that Lendl cools off a little bit. Good save in that situation by McEnroe. Lendl's been serving better too. He's only lost a couple of points the last five service games, so he's picked his play up. What odds on a repeat of the first set the opposite way? It's only one break, isn't it? Yep. Even though Lendl has been dominating this set a similar position to what McEnroe found himself in in the first set. It's in. That was a pretty good passing shot. Ball actually got a little bit behind him, I think, Tony. Yeah, he didn't make his normal swing with a top spin. He had almost block it back because he was a little late. Good approach by McEnroe, and that guy really made a shot. All he could do is watch McEnroe. Do you think this Lendl is taking probably more time than I've ever seen him take in serving? He usually takes a lot of time, but a little bit more today. Do you think that might be part of a, a game plan? <laughs> to play the game to his pace? I wouldn't be surprised he did it in his previous matches too. 
winners, 24 for Lendl, just 11 for McEnroe. bounces. 30-15. Third quarter. The Raiders 28-0 over the Jets. Been a few surprises so far, haven't there? Oh, yeah. Not that that's necessarily a surprise, but Houston beating Miami and Minnesota over San Francisco, both Big upsets. Four you notice that funny thing uh, Lindell does with the two balls? Why does he do that? I wonder. You're so careful looking at me. You're trying to give someone, but why don't you start doing some sort of job that resembles I'm fine? Shoo! He's complaining to the umpire that it says it's taken five minutes between points. That's Leon Lip. Tough job. Leon just got some lip. Every time I want you to count from this point forward, he's going every third, every single point he's going all day. Every. Come back. Come back. Now talking about what we were talking about just mm -hmm. a second ago about how long. Lendl is taking between the getting ready to serve. I'm sure he's deliberately trying to slow it down. Well, it's working because it's making McEnroe mad. Of course, the score is what's making him most angry. 40, 30. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to make him mad or not. See Mac and I waiting, prancing up and down, and Lindell's <laughs> just keeping him waiting. <laughs> well, he has 30 seconds. That's right. At the top of the net. Pulls. <laughs> it's got, it's like what he's that, juggling. I know. I don't know what that is for. I don't know. He, he keeps doing it. <laughs> and they rub that ball against the shirt. The shirt's wet. It sort of brings the nap down a little bit. Two in the second set. McEnroe serving a 2 5, second set. With new balls. Love 15. McEnroe has been to the net in the second set 21 times, only won seven points. Very low for him. Ball 
30. Randall just hammering those returns. Mack was up to 68% first serves in the second set. He was down around 50 or so in the first set. He's still in big trouble. the match I asked Bob Howe the tournament referee if they have broken the attendance record he didn't have the figure but he said yes by a large margin they've been huge crowds just about every day it's been 40, 30. Like a total sellout very near total attendance they were talking about getting up close to the half million mark Lindell leads 5-3 in the second. He won the first set. 7-1 the tiebreaker score. Lindell leads 5-3. Three. These are final scores. The Giants shut out Philadelphia 21-0. St. Louis in overtime over Cleveland. New England over Green Bay 26-20. Yvonne Lindell serving at 5-3 in the second. He won the first set. And this is where McEnroe stood in the first set, serving at 5-3 for the set. And at that stage, he had not lost a point on his serve, and he got broken to love. Fifteen long. Eighty four is total tennis here was four hundred and thirty one thousand sixty seven. That's some shot. That was a very brave shot from Lendl coming in and wing volleying at the ball from the baseline. He got pushed back to the back of the court here. And he's in a little bit of trouble at this stage, although good shot here, set it up and then moving in. That's a tough shot to hit. 15 seconds. Swinging, driving, topspin. Volley's not what, what was you the, normally taught. What was the 15 <laughs> second call for then? I guess he was telling him he had 15 seconds to serve. Right. Let's. Oh, great shot. And it's triple set point for Lendl. What a super passing oh shot this was from Lendl. A little bit of room across court, so he goes that way. Now there's just a tiny little bit of room going to be there across court if he can get the top spin on it to bring it down quickly. 15 seconds. It's the only way you can get that kind of an angle Five, please, with please. extra top spin. Macro was really waiting, covering down the line because he thought Lendl was going to get there late. So we're back live, triple set point. <laughs> Did it again. Same shot. 
second set goes to Lindell. Wills at 6-3 and now leads two sets to love. Yvonne Lindell leads John McEnroe two sets to love in the men's final. Pat Summerall with Tony Trabert and John Newcomb. Love. Opening day in the NFL, the Minnesota Vikings upset San Francisco 28-21. Detroit over Atlanta 28-27. The Bears beat Tampa Bay 38-28. Pittsburgh 45-3 over Indianapolis. 47-27 Kansas City over New Orleans. Good net play then from McEnroe because the last two forehands from Lendl had gone for winners across court. It could have been a temptation to look for that one again. <laughs> Seattle beat Cincinnati 28-24. And Houston upset Miami 26-23. Forty love here. McEnroe serving. First game, third set. Oh. Just It's been an ideal day to play. There is some humidity, but not terribly hot. Not enough breeze to cause any problems. season premiere. Stood way behind the baseline. There's our women's champion in 1985, Hannah Manlikova, and her coach on the right, Betty Stova. Have to be two very, very happy ladies. Anna has to be pulling for Ivan. She's of course, from Czechoslovakia, and so is he. That was a strange position for McEnroe to stand in on the previous point. Well, that far behind the baseline. He's trying to change things up, I guess. Mm -hmm. Take Lendl out of his rhythm. Thirty fifteen. That's the first one he's really timed for some time. Got to give Lendl credit for that because he's really served well. His second serve has been heavy and deep, and he's mixed it up. I suppose the other ones were out also. 
Oh, you know that one was out, right? Yes. And I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to have complete confidence what you say after you miss blatantly easy shots. I'm supposed to say, oh yeah, you're right. You're right, that was out. Good job, Rob Fire. Thank you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm very good job. It's 40-15. <laughs> Forehand. Games are one all. It's been successful for him. Indeed, it has so far. McEnroe's made him go for the good second serve because he's been attacking off of it and he's Yvonne's responded very well. Quiet, please. serves into play and coming in for the cross-court volley. Certainly makes a difference when you get a lot of first serves in. Forty fifteen. When you're a player that relies so heavily on the serve as is Macro and Lendl, the better they serve, the higher the rest of their game goes. I need some good calls, okay? <laughs> Best way to get those to hit it in the court then. <laughs> I need some good calls. All of us do. Hey, man, and roll. McEnroe. He leads 2-1 in the third set. has been working on that volley you can see the results when you get the when you come in on such a good shot you're you're pretty apt to get a higher ball to volley that's why we talk about the approach shot so much the attack here. That was off a first serve. He came in then. Pretty risky against someone who passes as well as Lindell. Well, I guess he's got to do something. Two sets to love down. Yes, he does. Would you advise him to do anything different at this stage, Tony, or just keep the game plan up? I think I'd, in particular, off the first serve, I'd try to get it back and play and rally some, try to move him on and rally him, because he's he's been coming in on some shots that land a little short, and he's been paying the price. 
course, it's easy from up here. It's hard not to keep up with that game plan of constant attack because it's worked so well for him over the last two years against Lendl. Today's a different day. Lendl's a better player. You bet. Game Lendl. It's 2 2 in the second set. Fourth ace for Yvonne Lendl. Game's on 2 all. Just too good. That's sort of frightening. Up 15. Well, he hit one across court a while ago. This one down the line, just as hard and just as effective. Started off on the first few games of the match, didn't he? Just drilling the ball, and we were saying he was sort of flailing at it a little bit, but really got his timing going since 5-3 in the first set. Desperate. <laughs> He's got a good point there. McEnroe is never going to be lonely. <laughs> he talks to himself very well, doesn't he? He's starting to answer, too. That's what scares you. <laughs> oh. Desperately is right. He needs first serves right here. Seem to take a little bit of extra time here as a loses this point, it could be just about it. Keep his concentration. Taking a long time between serves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty all. Third, McEnroe lead. 
Lendl's gotten in, he's won. That's fourth quarter score. 28 nothing Raiders over the Jets. Denver leading the Rams 16-10. San Diego over Buffalo 14-9. All those in the fourth quarter. Now absolutely key for McEnroe. 15 seconds. I was just thinking it's uh, he's in the fourth quarter really. You know, time's running out on him. Double faults. 30 for Lindell. It's 30 all. Men's singles final. U.S. Open of 1985. Stretch by Lendl. Was that it was not a good shot from McEnroe. Let's have a look at what his options are. Certainly not that one. I think he should have probably hit it hard with topspin. Here's another look. Good anticipation anyway. And you see the excited reaction of Yvonne Lendl, who's serving at 40-30. Trying to get even at three on the third set. Game, Lindell. He gets even at three all. Games are three all. The record. Before this, in U.S. Open Finals, McEnroe 4 and 0, Lindell 0 and 3. Those O's can change the way things are going here. That first serve. Thirty. Wow. 
this Flushing Meadows Park was the site of World's Fair back in the early 60s. That was part of it. Good judge on the head, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't even look, didn't even flinch. chance. 30 all. When you move around a ball like that, you better try to hit a winner because you're opening up the court. that's been troubling McEnroe all day, the forehand drive. So many of them have gone long over the baseline. Oh! Pretty good chance for Lendl here. Swing of the second serve at Deuce. I think Macro fooled him by going out to the forehand. Had a lot of work on it too, didn't he? A lot of spin. Open after this word from your local station. And they're serving at 3 4 in the third. Mackner would like to do to Lendl what Lendl did to him to French two years ago come from two sets down and win it in five. <laughs> 3 6 2 6 6 4 7 5 7 5 and 84 in Paris. McEnroe got even when they came here in straight sets. Good high backhand overhead by Lendl. Never seen him do that much, the fist clenching. He obviously wants this badly, as he said earlier. Not, this is not where I was born, but I live here, and I like this country and would love to win this championship. He's just really playing well. I don't think that, that Mackner realizes that Lendl's at the net here. 
I, so she starts back. See, now Lendl comes forward. John thinks he's making an approach shot and looks up, and there's Lendl making a volley. The ball's past him. Outsmarted him. That's 40 love. about fist clenching. I think I've seen more fist clenching at this championship than ever before. Seems to be in vogue today. Maybe Boris Becker started it. Forty fifteen. Forehand winners, 14 to 1. Lendl's favor. John sort of stopped after he made that last shot. Just sort of stayed in that corner. Almost like he had surrendered the point. She turned on the lights. They really haven't had a chance to take much effect yet. They are on. Second serve was as hard as his first. Four all. Goodyear blimp close by. Shea Stadium in the background, LaGuardia Airport over right behind that. McNamara serving and four all. Both players at 57% of first serves at this stage. Not great. Out. Fifteen long. Phil Necro of the Yankees got his 299th career win. Both the Yankees and Toronto won, so the Yankees are still a game and a half back. Nine in a row for the Yankees. It is. All. Fifteen all. Another winner by Lendl. And another clinch fist. <laughs> to that second court, uh, he's been returning the, the swinging serve very well. It seems to me like McEnroe isn't get as, getting quite as much swing as he normally does, Tony. Yeah, I think John would uh, be smart to serve it into the body a little bit more, or Yvonne can't take that nice full swing at it. Backhand pass down the line. Now watch McEnroe. He'll make a move. And Lendl just gets his preparation, gets his racket back early. As soon as he sights McEnroe moving to cover the down the line, just flicks it across court. McEnroe's backhand volley didn't have much on it and was landed short. Gave Lendl one more chance. This is a crucial time here for all 15-30 in a second serve. He's fighting rear guard all the time, isn't he? Mm. He was love 30 a couple of games ago. And a second serve. <laughs> Ooh. Double fault. That's his first one. And two 15, big 40. break points. For Lendl. If he, if he comes around serves for the match, he's going to be shuffling those balls in his hand, isn't he? <laughs> Yvonne's parents hardly stand to look.
Great anticipation. 30 for him. Lendl had a choice. He could go either way with it. McEnroe guessed right. Still break point. <laughs> what is it? Something loose in there? Hey. <laughs> Just missed. Another swing at a second serve. He's moved around a couple of these. Hit some big forehands down the line. Excited there. <laughs> Fifteen long. It was a pretty brave choice of shot that one, wasn't it? He was off the back foot, a top spin backhand lob. I'm not sure he meant to do that. He <laughs> was just hitting and hoping, you think? Whatever, it came off. Can't get his right shoulder steady. I can understand why. Thirty love. Thirty ball. Be a lot to celebrate about in Czechoslovakia. Love. Yvonne's parents. Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet, please. Triple match point. in 33 minutes. Yvonne Lindell in straight sets. 7-6, seven, 6-3, six, 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 Let's look at match point again. Match point, and Yvonne Lindell has won the U.S. Open of 1985 in very convincing style. We'll be back with the presentation in just a minute. For the award ceremonies, let's go down now to court and Tony Trabert. 
Thank you very much, Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a wonderful hand for two great champions, John McEnroe and Yvonne Wendell. To present the checks, it's my pleasure to introduce the CEO and President of Avis, Mr. Pat Barrett. Pat? Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Avis, which has been the proud sponsor of the men's singles at the U.S. Open here for the past 10 years, is proud to present this runner-up check to John McEnroe. Congratulations, John. John, I'd like to say a few words, please. Well, uh, I don't think I've ever received this much money for losing, so. <laughs> um, I want to thank all the sponsors of this event and uh, all, uh, all my friends who came out here to watch. Uh, Look for a minute here, like the ceremony was going to take as long as the match. But uh, I want to thank uh, my parents for having me and giving me this, <laughs> giving me this opportunity to be here, uh, and uh, Tatum for being here with me. <laughs> and finally. Uh, Congratulate Yvonne in a great match, and um, I think he deserved the win today. Now, Pat, I think you have a check for the winner, Yvonne Lendl. That's right, Tony. The winners. The winner's check, ladies and gentlemen, for $187,500. And now to present the trophy to the winner, the President of the United States Tennis Association, Mr. Randy Gregson. Randy? Yvonne, congratulations. Two times a bridesmaid, this time you did it. Three marvelous sets of tennis. I think you're looking for this. Yvonne, the uh, fourth time was the charm. I know this is one you wanted very badly. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, very happy that uh, I have won this tournament. I was trying for a long time and, uh, uh, you know, I would like to thank all the people who were helping me uh, in uh, my tries to get this tr wonderful trophy and uh, also uh, all the people for coming out here. And uh, I just can't describe how happy I am uh, winning championship of this country. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Congratulations. And now back to you, Patrick. Okay, we'll be right back at the National Tennis Center.